taking this team into a new conference. He's done a really good job for the Owls. Yeah, Patrick Baker, uh, coach of FAU, he has a challenge tonight. They're away playing the Hurricanes at home, home opener. They're going to come out with a lot, a lot of energy. So let's see how this game goes. And we're underway in Coral Gables. Hurricanes, of course, coached by Sarah Barnes in her sixth year. Miami in the dark uniforms, FAU in red. And a quick start to this one. You would think uh, for FAU, just about 30 miles away, 40 miles away, getting a chance to play against an ACC team. Some of these, and there's uh, Sarah Barnes in her sixth year at the University of Miami. She knows that FAU, perhaps a lot of their players thinking, hey, maybe I should be in the ACC. Yeah, like I said before, the FAU, the UM matchup, it is a gritty matchup. FAU, they're going to raise their level to play an ACC team like the Canes. And you're going to see some chippiness in there. You can already see how fast the ball is moving right now. It's a little bit soggy. It's a little bit wet out there. It was literally pouring a couple minutes ago. So you can already see that happening out there. A collision right off the bat. Simone Adotier involved in that collision. Elin Simone Odotier, one of the uh, headline makers for FAU. Hurricanes 15, 9, and 2, all time in their openers. Miami's won six of their last eight home openers. Yeah, and winning your home opener, in my opinion, is just a recipe for success for your season. You want to get out there. You want to come out strong, defend your home turf. So I'm sure the Canes, Sarah Barnes, has been pumping up her team. They've been preparing all week, probably all preseason, for this match. Odo Tier marked closely there by the University of Miami by Adriana Cerna. Miami last season relied a lot on the goalkeeping of Dajanay and their defense. Yeah, and I had the pleasure to play with Dajanay actually when I was a former Hurricane and watching her grow and step into a leadership. She's the captain of this team, one of the captains of the three captains this year. Watching her take over that back line and just be an exceptional leader on the field and off, and off the field has been truly, truly uh, amazing to watch her grow. And she's a key, key to this team. Turf a little bit slippery on a soggy night. Miami's trying to get organized into their offense. Across the midline for the first time tonight. Caroline Hood, who's a freshman from Massachusetts, getting a touch there. Hood making her second start. Blythe Braun, the goalie for FAU. Braun's a transfer from Iowa. Yeah, and transfers are a really big, you know, thing that are happening in women's soccer. And especially, I know FAU's not in the ACC, but in the ACC, people are moving all over around just to get the best amount of playing time and the most experience, which I don't think is a bad thing. You want to see the field. You want to get the most touches. Molina for Cerna. Molina on the right wing. Now with Miami in a back pedal, FAU tried to send it along the line. Yeah, you can see the ball a lot on the left side for FAU. They're really trying to phone Simona Dautier. She's their key player. It's been on this left side for, you know, three minutes of the game. It's been pretty much on this left side. So UM is doing a really good job of marking her up and keeping her in front of them. We had about a 45-minute delay or so as... Cerna throws this one in for Miami. Both sides very excited to play. They were out there warming up, and then heavy rains came, sent them back to the locker room. It's so funny because that is the, the story of the South Florida teams. You know, you're out there one minute, sunny, humid, 
it's still humid, and then it starts pouring, lightning. Uh, I was messaging with one of the goalkeepers on EWAM, and she's like, yeah, we're sitting in the locker room, and it's we're soaking wet in here, and we're just waiting. <laughs> so sometimes you just got to wait. Slifer for FAU, now Miami the other way. On a day where the uh, World Cup was decided, Miami and FAU five minutes into this match, trying to find a way to connect a few passes here. Yeah, it's been a great day for women's soccer. This past month with the World Cup has been tremendous. I'm sure both these team players have been watching their idols play, and it's just such a great time for women's soccer. And I'm so excited for this season of college women's soccer. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so great. Wheeler with a long serve in for Miami. Hood trying to get to her right foot. Hood on the left side. The freshman trying to cross it in there. Hood's been very active so far. I love the confidence of Hood taking on her player. She's like, you know what? I'm going to take you on. I'm going to beat you. She doesn't get the cross off, unfortunately, but you know what? Good to start that early in the game and gain that confidence. FAU trying to get it to uh, Simono Dotier. Had an opportunity coming off a two-goal game. Wheeler for Miami. Hit in the back from behind by Young. Wheeler, a redshirt freshman from St. John's, Florida for Miami. Earlier today, a 1-0 victory for Spain. They become the world champion. Scored a goal in the first half and held on for dear life. Played about 113 we're, minutes with all the extra time. We were talking about this earlier. We were both up at 6 a.m. watching that game. We were both rooting for England, but it's fantastic to see a new World Cup champion crowned for the first time ever, Spain. And we are kind of talking about this earlier, and it goes into um, so many international players play in, you know, the ACC. When I played, we had... Uh, well, Lucy Bronze played on UNC. Alessia Russo played on UNC. So top players playing mm -hmm. in this conference in the World Cup final. Like, that's pretty, pretty cool. It was a very good World Cup final. It was missing the United States, but it was a very good World Cup final. It's okay. We'll be back. We will be back. And we have Olympics next year. The University of Miami has a connection to the World Cup, right, on their coaching staff? Yes, Kay, uh, Kaylee Sullivan, she was at the World Cup. I actually was there with her, and we got to talk about the Canes, and she's super excited. She's the newest, one of the new assistants coach for the Canes. Her sister is actually Andy Sullivan, who is a midfielder on the U.S. Women's National Team who absolutely crushed it this um, World Cup, but she is one of the assistants for the Canes, so very, very exciting to have her on the staff. Play has been about even so far. There's Jordan Felton involved in a little bit of a collision. Here's another look at this one, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see already getting a little chippy out there. I can just see it getting more intense as the match goes on. And this is the first game of season, but you had off season, you have summer, and a lot of these players, Jordan Felton, she was playing with the Washington Spirit um, Summer League team. Mm -hmm. So playing you know, in that environment um, is so important just to keep up your skills and, and not to switch off during the off season because it can be so easy to just stay at home. You know, you're watching the World Cup, you're just chilling, but you gotta keep up your fitness up, you gotta keep your skills up. So it's really awesome to see a lot of these girls um, compete in summer leagues. FAU trying to make a move on the outside. Sesma, Molly Sesma, throwing from uh, Johnson coming up. Kaylin Johnson from Medford, New Jersey. 
You don't see a double zero usually no. on the field. It's usually the keeper, but the keeper's uh, number zero, and we got a double zero on the field too, so pretty interesting. Makes with a nice job trying to slalom through the defense. Mahmoud Poor in pursuit. The ball plays all the way back to FAU's Madison Machoni. Meeks in the middle of the middle of the field. And both teams having trouble maintaining possession. Yeah, keeping the ball is so important. And I know right now, like I said multiple times, the, the pitch is slick. So keeping the ball, especially in the middle third of the field, moving it around is really, really important. Mahmoud Port does a good job putting the brakes on. Molina just outside the box. Molina toward the far post and a little bit too heavy on that one. A little bit too heavy, but good on Molina taking on her player, getting that cross off. Probably not the perfect cross that she wanted, but she takes her player, little one-two, gets past her player, and no one's really back post. Uh, kind of a tough cross, but you know what? I like to see it. I like to see players take on the defender. Molina in her 44th career game for the University of Miami. Johnson will play it back to Braun, the goalie. Played in six games, had four starts for FAU a year ago. Mahmoudpour on the turnover, trying to set up Felton. Felton takes it wide for the byline. And a counterattack for FAU. Not much on that pass, so Dajane now will cycle it back toward the wing for Miami. Yeah, and I have to shout out Emma Tucker on that play. You see her getting up, trying to get in, get involved in the, in the attack in third, but then she's sprinting back, trying to break up that play, and she ultimately does. So great work on the defensive end transition there. Chance for FAU, and Dajane gets her hands on it once and twice on the save. For Dajane, FAU had an excellent opportunity right in front, and Dajane, who had five plus saves 10 times a year ago, is there to repel Sloan Young. And that's what Dajane does. She makes big saves and big moments, and this is probably the best chance we've had so far in the match. She makes the first save, she's up, makes the second save. Canes has to do a better job, especially with that second ball. She makes the first save. Got to do better on that second one, but good job from Young on FAU trying to follow that up, and best chance we've had so far. Somehow, Young was able to slither inside of Dan yeah. uh, Delaney Brown. There's the corner kick served in, volleyed in. And this one is chipped right to Dajane by Morgan McDonald. Dajane played 77 minutes against Stetson. And Dajane had a really great predecessor, Fallon Tolis Joyce, mm -hmm. who I had the pleasure of playing with, plays for OL Reign, absolutely killing it, crushing it, but that's who Dajane gets to see in goal, gets to learn from, gets, you know, those minutes as a freshman. Like, it's so important to have people to look up to, and Fallon Tolis Joyce was, was definitely one of those players. FAU had an opportunity right there to jump on Miami, get a jump start in this game. And it only takes a quick little pass, one, two, just to get the, behind the defense of the Hurricanes. So, especially, like I said, when the pitch is wet, you should be taking shots from all over because the ball can skip, the goalie can just be off balance. It's, it's definitely uh, a time to take a lot of shots. That would have been a, a huge gain in momentum mm -hmm. for the Owls. Dajane, 86 saves last season. Played in every game. Try to find some space and um, a little bit too close, so it skips out of play and a turnover off the kick from Dajane.
Pelton in pursuit of Scheifler. And Young is doing a really great job for the Owls, checking into that space in the midfield. There's a gap that the Hurricanes are leaving open. She checks in, she turns, and she sprays it out wide. Does a really great job of moving the ball in the midfield. There's a chance for FAU, and it's chipped down just a little bit wide. Another great opportunity for FAU. And that one off the chip just a little bit wide for the Owls. And I think Dajane gets her fingertips on this. Let's watch one more time. A great ball across. She You're does right. get a hand yep. on it. Another big save from Dajane, but that's way too easy from the Hurricanes going across the mouth of goal. You need to get a touch on that, not leave Dajane all by herself, but another great opportunity for FAU. Molly Sesma with a left foot. Now another corner comes in low. Nice job controlling it by Bori. Two good opportunities for FAU in the first 15 minutes of the game. Could have been goals, both of them. Dodge mm -hmm. with really, really big saves. So maybe this lights, you know, turns on a little bit of a light for the Canes back line to just sort things out a little bit. Uh, FAU has found a few gaps in the Miami defense early, early on. There's Johnston with space. McDonald leans in. Johnston. Another chance out wide. Molly Sesma has got to be thinking about, well, I had a great opportunity. So did Sloan and Young. FAU is knocking out the door, so, you know, it only takes one chance, and they've had two pretty good chances. Johnson again trying to thread a nice pass through the Miami defense and nearly had another connection there. Yeah, and the ball is literally whipping across the pitch. Look how fast it goes when she whips it across. And that's what I think the Miami defense is struggling with, that bounce and the ball is going so fast on a wet pitch like this. Just missed getting that on to the, uh, the end of the foot of, I believe that was Bory. That was a thin needle to thread, and she put it right there. FAU player gets a touch on that. That could be a goal. Bob Stadium and Coral Gables on the campus of the University of Miami. No score. Advancing forward is Cerna for Miami. Onto the foot of Molina. Cerna with an overlap from Molina. Out wide. Cerna to the near post, and right there is Braun. A great overlap from Cerna. An unfortunate cross. Sometimes you don't always get the cross off, but she beats her player. And she honestly could take a little bit more space and try to pick out a player, but she tries to go for the cross. I think she's trying to go for back post uh, Meeks right there, but a better opportunity from the, the Hurricanes. Cern in her 24th game for the University of Miami.
FAU moving forward, a little give and go. Nice. Sesma has it. Out wide against Cerna. Trying to get to from her left foot to her right foot. And Cerna is there on the denial. Yeah, good little battle between these two players on the left side. Sesma's doing really well taking on her player, trying to get you know something out of this and ultimately gets a corner. Another corner kick for FAU. They have carried the play here, I would say, in the last five to seven minutes. For sure. I think, honestly, the first 19 minutes, it's been a lot of action from FAU and a lot of close chances, and we just need a response from the Hurricanes. Morgan McDonald off the rebound had an opportunity. Had the ball volleyball around a little bit, pinballed around. Another look at this one. And again, Dajane in the middle of that. Yeah, Dajane is already having herself a game. She gets a hand on that, and honestly, a good take from FAU from top of the box, and the Canes just get a, a touch on that. Sloan Young, a transfer from South Florida, has been a handful so far for the University of Miami. Here's Johnson around Molina. On the connection again, FAU trying to build something here, trying to weave through the University of Miami defense. Simona Dotier. And that's, you know, the player to watch for FAU. She's trying to take on one, two. I think she tries to take on too many Hurricane players, but good defense from the Hurricane stepping in, closing down on, you know, the player to watch on the opposite team. Simona Dotier trying to get free again inside the box. Miami's on their back heels right now. Yeah, I think they just need to settle down a little bit. You know, it's home opener nerves, home opener chaos. It's a little bit wet out there. Just settle down, move the ball around, and just kind of find their rhythm. Daniela Diaz with the throw in for FAU. Coming up on the 23rd minute. Dajane. Julie Edwards will check in for the University of Miami. So Edwards from Richmond, Virginia, the senior. And FAU again pushing forward, finding some holes in the Miami defense. Trying to get it to Simone Adotier. Along the left sideline, Hood had it and lost it. Johnson plays it off the left foot. Sesma. Cerna connects with Mahmoudpour. Molina. Yeah, and a little bit better of a passing connection there from the Hurricanes, trying to move the ball around, do a little give and go um, right there. But it doesn't really work out, but that's what I want to see, moving the ball. You know, having fun with it, playing composed. And 23rd minute, they have a lot of time left in the match to kind of get it going.
Mahmoud Port trying to make something happen. From Lofton, Virginia, her 17th game for the University of Miami. Emma Tucker, one of the real veterans on this squad, her 57th game, her 39th career start. Yeah, and a funny story about Emma Tucker, and I always say this when I come on here because I think it's so exceptional. She started as a midfielder, and now she is uh, playing, what, left back? Mm -hmm. So the versatility of a player to just be whatever the team needs is phenomenal. She's such a team player, and being able to play midfield and left back, two different positions completely. So she, I, I love watching her absolutely dominate the, the left back position. Johnson under a little bit of pressure from Molina. Starting to try to play it out wide for Molina. A little ambitious on that pass, so turnover by Miami. A soggy pitch. The players look a little wet. Their, their shirts look a little heavy from the rain. Um, but you know what? That's that's part of the game. Playing in the conditions, playing when it's humid. I'm sure it's really hot out there. I'm sure they have amazing trainers hydrating them, giving them Powerade, Gatorade, all the good stuff. I know the Canes have an exceptional trainer, Carl Reynolds. He takes such good care of the players, and that's such a big part of you know. Being fit, being ready for the entire season is staying healthy, and he does such a great job of doing that. Sophia Volby has checked in for FAU. Taylor Shell in for Miami. Hood is out. Taylor Shell, graduate student from Richmond, Virginia, has a lot of soccer under her, under her belt for the University of Miami. Yeah. Setsma is out, and Haran is in for FAU. And 26th minute, you see Sarah Barnes make two substitutions. She puts in two veteran players, Shell and Edwards. Uh, Edwards, captain of this team, and Shell, like you said, a, a veteran. Um, just getting some composure, probably slowing things down and just having everyone kind of calm down in the last half of the first match, or the first half. Molina on the move for Miami. On to Mahmoudpour. Now arriving for the Kings as Wheeler and Shell. Miami might have something brewing here. Comes up a little bit too soft. Yeah, it comes off a little bit too soft. Not exactly what uh, Molina wants, but a good movement from the Hurricanes. Starts from Shell, takes a little touch. Emma Tucker looks up. Love that she doesn't just serve it and she tries to find her player, tries to find, um, oh, I think that was Meeks, Meeks actually, yeah. excuse me. That was Meeks and just, you know, sometimes it happens, comes off your boot wrong, but a really good play from the Hurricanes. Shell in her 54th game. Has 33 starts in her career at the University of Miami. Played in 16 matches last season with 13 starts. Had two assists. I love watching Taylor Shell play. She brings such this like sassiness and just she brings such a presence on the field for the Hurricanes. Um, also another player that I was fortunate enough to play with and watching her grow and be a leader on this team is, is so, so awesome. She will always have a place in University of Miami history because she uh, had a game-winning shot against the Florida Gators. 
in the 2021 season. Gators will be here on Thursday for a big matchup with the University of Miami. Yeah, another Florida matchup, right? Yeah. <laughs> My mood board trying to check back against uh, Jody Smith. And I think as a, you know, a former Hurricane playing against, you know, the FAUs, the FIUs, the, the Gators, you know, FSU, you always love to play the Florida team because it's kind of you're playing for, you know, the state, uh, who's going to dominate. That's so right. it's always such a fun matchup. Johnson puts the brakes on. Easy touch for Smith. Smith for Johnston. Molina over there in pursuit. Serna pokes at it. Voltby for FAU. All the way back to Michoni. FAU right now comfortable playing keep away. Yeah, FAU trying to move the ball in the back there with their uh, defensive line, but ultimately UM breaks it up, gets the ball. Good pressure on, you know, the attacking third of the field, and I think that is Molina just breaks it up right there. Sacrifices her body a bit, gets a little bit hit, but ultimately Hurricanes get a pretty good free kick out of it. Here's Reese Wheeler over the ball for Miami. Miller was a two-time captain at Bartram High School. The volley's just worn in. Nice volley headed away by FAU Cerna. Mahmoud Poor, nice move from the left to the right and gets a shot off over the top of the crossbar. Mahmoud Poor with some fancy feet right there. Uh, great shot by Mahmoud Poor, and I think FAU thought that maybe she was offside, but you always got to keep playing. Good little fancy footwork and tries to get a shot off and just goes over the bar, but I love to see it. Drew Dempsey enters the fray now for FAU. Transfer from Barry. So Drew Dempsey comes in. Shell running it down. All right, the latter stages now of our first half. Here at Cobb Stadium in Coral Gables. FAU's probably carried the play a little bit more than Miami. More shots on a soggy pitch. And as the first half, you know, dwindles down, it's really important to be locked in. You know, coaches always say first 10 minutes, last 10 minutes of each half is where teams make mistakes because, you know, you, you get a little lazy, you get a little bit tired, and those are the perfect opportunities for, you know, Hurricanes or FAU to capitalize on the first or last 10 minutes. Siddiqui off the right foot along the line. Evan said Salas' name much tonight for the University of Miami. Led the Hurricanes in minutes played last season. It's kind of a, been a real anchor for Miami in their back line. Yeah, huge anchor in their back line. Um, I think it's maybe a good thing we haven't said her name a lot, right? Because she's a defender. But yeah, a really important piece for the Miami Hurricanes. A pass, nimbly threaded in, still alive for FAU. Dajane on her toes. She's had to reject a couple of shots already from yeah. point blank range. And we can we can mention Salah's name right there. Big uh big stepping up, using her body, being physical, and making sure that FAU doesn't turn in a really critical part of FAU's attack in third. Siddiqui collects. Turnover. Meeks for Miami. Trying to sneak her way through the defense. 
Yeah, just not on the same page there with Mahmoud Poor and Meeks, but Lord Meeks looks like she's just dribbling, trying to, you know, wait for someone to make a run or, you know, check or do something, and unfortunately just not on the same page there with her teammate. Meeks able to dink a pass to Edwards. Connects with Shell. One touch and hit from the side is Wheeler. Shell to Edwards. Edwards in the middle of the field, a turnover. Long distance pass from Melikone. So now we have a stoppage in play. You might notice that our clock is stopped. Time is stopped on us. Time never stops. Time always marches on. We saw this actually, uh, I mean, I guess we didn't see this exactly, but we saw a lot of extra time. I mean, you watched the game this morning. What was it, 13 extra minutes of added time to the final, which is crazy. Crazy. So this will definitely give us uh, some more time in this first half. Time marches on, except when it's frozen on the scoreboard. <laughs> neighbors in for Miami Molina is out. Sonia Neighbors from Montclair, New Jersey. So about 10 minutes to go in our first 45 here at Cobb Stadium. Yeah, and Coach Barnes subs in neighbors for Molina. Molina had a pretty great first half, but 10 minutes left of the first half. You see some tired legs. You see some sloppy decisions. So Sarah Barnes putting in some fresh legs in the top of the attacking third of the Canes and just saying probably run at them. Give us your engine. Give us everything you got for the last 10 minutes of, the, of this first half. Host team, the Miami Hurricanes, have done a lot of defending until now with a golden opportunity. Mahmoud Poor straight on and scores. Mahmoud Poor puts Miami, the host team, in front off a turnover. Woo, I'm doing a little cheer. I am obviously a little bit biased. But Hurricanes get the first goal. I mean, FAU had, you know, first chances, but Hurricanes deliver. Emma Tucker, great defensive pressure. Mahmoud Poor, calm, cool, collected, beats her first player, and boom, goal. And they get on the score sheet first, which is ultimately what they needed to do. First career goal as a hurricane for Mahmoud Poor. Straight on, off the right foot, drilled that one by the goalie with no chance. Mahmoud Poor was a goal scorer in high school. Had 30 goals as a high school player and gets her first as a hurricane. It's always special scoring her first goal, but... You gotta, you gotta look at Emma Tucker's little celebration there too. That was all from her defensive pressure, getting that to Mahmoud Poor. So, ten minutes, like I said, anything can happen in those first or last ten minutes. So critical to always stay locked in. Right as I was saying that Miami was spending a lot of this first <laughs> half defending, they're able to get loose. And now the rain has started again. Oh, you can hear it out there. It's the pouring. rain is coming down hard. So we'll play through the elements tonight. Mm -hmm. Shell sends it deep off uh, the head of Mahmoud Poor. players hate playing in the rain but I personally love playing in the rain yeah. I love to slide out there kind of made it feel like you were in a movie of some sort you know like dr dramatizes the game a little bit so I I loved it but I know some people don't like it Thirty six minute a goal by the University of Miami's Mahmoud Poor 
from Lorton, Virginia. Makes it from behind. A little frustration by FAU. Yeah, and I'm sure in the second half, if FAU doesn't equalize, you're going to see that frustration grow and build, and it's definitely going to get a little bit more physical. The rain is hard and heavy as Wheeler is over the ball. And when it's raining like this, like I said earlier, this is the time for taking shots from honestly anywhere because the ball will skip, the goalie can't see very well. Such a perfect opportunity just to take some shots. Braun in the middle of three or four players able to corral that one. Sends a high goal kick up into the into the raindrops here in Coral Gables. Diaz hit the turf hard for FAU. I think she landed on her wrist. Here's another look. Oof. Yeah, Taylor Shell, Taylor Shell comes in for the tackle, and I think she just lands wrong. Um, definitely not fun to land wrong on your wrist. Dempsey able to roll that one forward. FAU trying to look for an equalizer here late in the first half. Tuska Mahmoudpour scoring for the University of Miami in her 17th career game, gets her first career goal. It came in the 36th minute. Siddiqui for FAU, tangled up with neighbors. And how about that? You score your first goal as a freshman, and, and it's what? The day before school starts for the Hurricanes? That's you right. get, you yep. get it going as a freshman to your first class with a, with a goal under your belt. I don't think it gets any better than that. Wheeler steps in. Now Meeks. Salas. Wheeler on the ball for Shell. Shell around one defender, tries to pinpoint a pass down the sideline. Nobody there, maybe for Mahmoudpour. Ball played back to Blythe Braun, the goalie a transfer from Iowa. Siddiqui on the near sideline, watched by neighbors. Cerna gets a piece of it. Edwards combining with Tucker. Miami with some numbers here now and a chance. Wheeler trying to get that to neighbors. Miami forces a turnover. Yeah, and FAU need to be careful. Another turnover for F for FAU, which gives Hurricanes an opportunity to counterattack and kind of take them when they're on the, the edge of their back seat. Cerner, her third career start for Neighbors. Neighbors around two, three red jerseys. Tries to switch the field. Can Shell get there in time? Good hustle, nice move to keep it in play. Her hustle rewarded there. Yeah, great hustle from Taylor Shell, and that's why she'll bring you. She'll hustle to the very end. She'll give it her all. An unfortunate pass after that, but you love to see the hustle. I think that as a player, when you see a teammate hustle like that for a ball, it kind of just motivates you even more, especially four minutes left in the half. You see your teammate hustle for a ball to keep that in, and you're like, all right, she did that. 
my turn to do something for this team. And Miami has switched this game on FAU off a turnover plus. A lot more pressure here. In a lot more pressure. You can see Mahmoud Poor a high press, and it's causing FAU's back line quite a lot of trouble. Um, that's how they ultimately got their first goal, Tucker high pressing. But it's interesting to see the Hurricanes kind of high press in the first half of the map, in the first half of this uh, game. Last 15 minutes or so, it feels like FAU's had yeah. a tough time getting past the half line. Here's Neighbors breaking in. Braun is going to be there first. Yeah, great way to come out from Braun. She honestly might have saved another goal from the Hurricanes, but off her line, being quick off her line, so important for her also to stay locked in. Sort of gestures forward and has it, then Neighbors. Neighbors toward the end line and forced out of play by Siddiqui. About two and a half minutes to go in the half. Miami a one goal to none lead. Yeah, about two minutes left of the first half. If I'm a hurricane, I'm thinking, you know what? I, I have to leave right now. Probably a little bit tired. Just keeping the ball, making smart decisions, especially in that back line. Just trying to get to halftime with this lead. This one played forward for FAU. Into the box and a chance. Ball is loose for FAU and they've got a goal opportunity and score. FAU with the equalizer right before the end of the half. Wow, right before the end of the half. FAU comes out and they say, we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We're not going in to this halftime without a goal. Seemed as if there was one breakdown after another for Miami on defense. And the ball ricochets out onto the foot of Olivia Ganthier, who equalizes for FAU. Off the left foot, she was very persistent and able to overwhelm a couple of Miami defenders. Yeah, and it kind of just bobbles in there, kind of unsure what's going on, and she ultimately just finishes it, and can't dodge an A, just can't get on it, and a great equalizer, a great response from FAU. Ganthier equalizing for FAU as we go into the 45th minute. And so now, FAU, a marvelous job in the final couple of minutes after being pinned back for the middle part of this first half. FAU rescues themselves, and they hijack the momentum. Exactly. I feel like the first part of this half, FAU had momentum. Then it shifted to the Canes, and that last, what, minute or so? That's all it takes. Ganthier sticks with it, gets the bobble, gets on it, and gets a goal to equalize. Super important to equalize before the half, and so they can come out, recharge for the second half. Transfer for the second half. Yeah, it's all tied up. It almost seems kind of like a different game. Under the lights now, it's nighttime. Kind of, you can say, 0-0, zero, zero, second half. FAU, they score in the last minute of the first half. So just keeping that momentum and not turning off, like I said, first 10 minutes so important. And if you're, you know, the Hurricanes, you want to keep that pressure. I don't think they'll high press from the start, but, I mean, look, <laughs> look at that. They're coming out flying. So I think also just kind of having a better start to the second half than they did in the first half. Now Miami got stunned mm -hmm. at the end of the first half, so they have to respond to that. Taylor Shell with the throw in. Worth noting that Taylor Shell works some of our broadcasts, not the soccer. I mean, that would be really good <laughs> if she could play soccer she... and work in the broadcast at the same time. But has done a lot of graphics work uh, on 
some of our basketball telecast. Yeah, she was actually up here during halftime. No, I'm kidding. She was not up here during halftime. She was in the locker room. But yeah, actually, Taylor Shell, uh, when I was a senior, she was a freshman, and we both uh, I think broadcast journalism was our major, and she, you know, she reaches out to me. Ooh, oh, really good opportunity the right there. Taylor Shell, nice, nicely done connecting to Caroline Hood. She knew we were talking about her, so she wanted to show off a little bit. <laughs> but like we've talked about before, we were talking about off air. Being a student athlete is tough. It's a full time job to be an athlete, and then a student on top of that, you're gone for a lot of, you know, away trips. So. The Hurricanes, I think that last season they had um, broken the record for ACC um, Mer what is it when you were? APR. Yes, they had the most players that they've ever had. So excelling on the field as off the field is so big as a Hurricane. It's, we're just competitive on all levels, you know? You just want to be the best in the classroom, on the field. So being a student athlete is no joke. So hats off to all these student athletes out there. And school's just going to start, so very exciting. First day of classes tomorrow. Miami's first corner kick of the night lofted in there. Felton plays it out wide. And just squirts across the end line. Another corner coming for Miami. Emma Tucker in her 57th game. Made her 39th career start tonight. Has the assist. Played 59 minutes against Stetson. Yeah, the opening game. I think the Hurricanes had no corners in the first half, right? And now two corners right. in the first minute of the mat of the second half. <laughs> Moodpour got her foot on that one. Now FAU with a counterattack and Miami racing back to defend. Salas, the last line of defense, along with Delaney Brown. A yellow card is coming. And that's why you got to be careful about the transition off a corner. FAU takes on, I mean, it's a smart foul if you're the Hurricanes. You know, it would have been 1v1 in the back, but ultimately is a yellow card. Kaitlyn Johnston will be over the ball, perhaps. Collaborating with her teammate. Johnson is from Holy Cross Prep. Here's another look. Olivia Bori was sandwiched. Yeah, and if Bori gets past the, you know, the defense, then it's 1v1. She can take on the goal. So ultimately, I think it's a smart foul. It is a yellow card. Never want to get a yellow card, never want to foul, but sometimes you got to make the decision to do a smart foul. Here's the free kick launched in there. And on one up, Dajane had it, lost it, and regathers. Almost slipped off her fingertips. That would have been a nightmare of major proportions. Yeah, and on that free kick, it almost seems like no one was kind of ready for it. It kind of just happened, and then people reacted to it. Almost Dajane herself bobbles it, but she gets it back and. Hurricanes are in the clear. Salas with a yellow card. Angelilo, I believe that was during the second half. Good battle there. Simona Dottier trying to get around the University of Miami's Emma Tucker. Yeah, and she's a player to watch at FAU. We didn't say her name a lot in the first half. The Canes definitely shut her down, but she's back on in the second half and she definitely wants to get a goal against the Canes. Shell rescues Miami right in front. Try to get that one to Simona Dottier, but 
That pass a little bit too strong. Five minutes into the second half. Game is tied. Dajane plays 77 minutes against Stetson. Her goal kick is away. On the foot of Hood. Now Salas. Miami trying to relieve some pressure here. Salas off the head of Diaz. Bori created some problems earlier. Bori's got it again. Salas able to stab it away. Yeah, great tackle by Salas there. Hood trying to usher it forward. Diaz. FAU playing with a lot of energy. Angelilo. Intended for Mahmoudpour. Yelling a tight bind there along the sidelines. Not much operating room. We'll have a throw in for Miami. Six minutes in to the second half. Shell, the veteran for the University of Miami. 54 games played. Has started 33 times. Had a little uh, mix of a little bit of everything: sunshine, rain. And now uh, darkness is upon us. You have to be prepared for all the elements when you're playing at Cobb Stadium. How wide for Diaz? Hood right there to check and mark, and be in a battle with Diaz. Bit of a tussle. Here's Edwards trying to take it away. From Young. Hood pokes at it. And Young has it for FAU. She's played well tonight and has some space. Young off the left foot. Tried to loft it in there. Yeah, not sure if she was going for the shot or the cross in there. Maybe she wasn't sure yeah. herself, but Young has been exceptional for FAU. Definitely one of the key players in this match. Just getting space and taking her space. Uh, not the right execution on that one, but maybe next time she has that space, she can drive and execute that shot a little bit more on target. Young, a transfer from South Florida. Dajane gets this one toward the midline. Simona Dotier. Has it, plays it wide. Simona Dotier trying to get free in the middle of the field. Wide goes Bory. And we've, straight, we've seen Bohr versus Tucker a little bit already in this second half. I love the matchup. It's a really great matchup, a great battle between these two. Simona Dotier trying to add to her goal total for this season. Around one, around two. Not around the third, Black Sugar arriving. Angelilo got her foot up there pretty high, so now big chance here for FAU. Yeah, a high kick called on the Canes and a really good opportunity, really great location for a free kick, center of the pitch, top of the box. Really good opportunity for FAU. So a big moment of our match right now for FAU. As we approach the 55th minute, the Owls have a big chance here. Dajane trying to get lined up. What is she thinking about right now? She's thinking to set her wall, uh, making sure everyone's in place, marking their player. So important to stay with your player. 
that's honestly how a lot of free kicks get scored on, obviously, on the goal. But you lose your player, they get the rebound, so staying with your player is so important. So she's selling at her team, setting the wall, and mentally preparing herself. Schleifer taking a good look at this one with Diaz. Schleifer is ready and sends this one low and wide. Not a bad take from FAU. Honestly, like I said, the pitch is a little bit wet, a little bit slippery. They keep it on the ground, not on frame, but I like that they took it low and they try to go bottom left corner. Try to thread it through the yeah. Miami defense. Tucker leaning in, trying to force a turnover. Hood trying to catch up to it. Any little play at this point of the match could swing it one way or the other. 100% soccer is a game of moments, and it can take one moment, one chance to get a goal and get your team ahead. Shell knocked down. Miami won, FAU won. Mahmoud Poor on the score sheet for Miami. Get the air for FAU. Jalilo off for Tucker. Tucker in a 1v1 here. Sends it wide. Hood has it poked away by Diaz. Yeah, a great switch from Angelino. She sees that it's stuck on the right side, so congested. She lifts her head. She takes on her player. She finds Tucker's and switches it to the left side of the pitch. Diaz got her foot up there pretty high. Mahmoud Port hit from behind. Ball squirts out for Salas. Nudges it to Felton. Felton with some space. Her choice is to go left for Edwards. Or rather for Tucker. Tucker has her pocket picked. Diaz is a, and Yellow Diaz is a clever defender. Mm -hmm. A good battle, good defensive pressure from Diaz. She doesn't let Tucker turn the corner and get a cross off. But props to Tucker too, who doesn't give up. She gets her, her pocket picked, but she keeps playing, stays with it, and gets a uh, throw in for the Hurricanes. So on to the pitch for Miami. Sophia Bros. Cerna comes on. So a couple of changes for the Hurricanes, some fresh legs. Adriana Cerna with the throw in. Cerna for Tucker. Bros for Hood. Rose tangled up with Bori.
Sophia rather a Bori has played very well here today. Olivia Bori. FAU trying to attack, uh, create an attack going the other way. Young. And FAU is just struggling with finding that final pass in the attacking third. They're doing a good job of getting the ball, moving into the midfield line, but they're struggling with finding that forward, uh, Simone Dautier, trying to get her the ball and get make things happen for her. Bob Seam and Coral Gables on the campus of the University of Miami. Miami and FAU are tied at one. Miami leads the all-time series. Ten wins against eight losses. There's been one tie. Yeah, last season this team, these two teams matched up and they tied, right? So this year they don't want to tie. One of these teams definitely want to get the victory and start off their season strong. Warren makes that a goal against Stetson. Loses it to Bory. Sal is back for Miami. Now Meeks gets bumped off the ball hard. Hard defending by FAU. I think that's going to be a foul. There's another look at it, Lauren. Yeah, Meeks gets the ball. She tries to turn. I don't think she sees the defender coming, Bory, and Bory just pushes her from behind, and it's a foul. Here's Salas for Miami. Salas volleys this one in. Now a little bit too strong. Salas in her 28th game for the University of Miami. Played all 16 matches a year ago with 12 starts. We've not seen uh, Molina in the second half. Molina had a game-winning goal against FAU. Who has a game-winning goal against FAU to her resume. <laughs> Noah Olivia Ganthia tied the game in the 44th, 45th minute of the first half. Won't be in for FAU. And that's your job as a sub to come in and change the game. You have fresher legs. You've been watching from the bench. It's different to play the game and watch a little bit from the bench. And she did a great job coming in and equalizing for FAU. Melanson comes in for FAU. I think there's some confusion going on out there. Not sure who's throwing it is. The refs are discussing it, but I think it might be an FAU throw-in. Well, it was an FAU throw-in <laughs> that went wild. <laughs> and now it's a hurricane throw-in. Dallas trips up FAU's key offensive player. 
Yeah, she trips up Simone Dottier, and she's just trying to turn on her, trying to get around her, and Salas just ends up fouling her. Another free kick for FAU. This one chipped in there, nicely done, off the head, and saved by Dajane, pokes it away. Wow. That was excellent work by FAU. Off the free kick, nearly took the lead in the 64th minute. A great free kick from FAU, let's see it again. They whip the ball in there, and ultimately, FAU player, I can't really see who it is, but it's just wide open by herself on the back post, which is cannot happen, but great job by Dejane getting a finger on it, but a great opportunity from FAU. Now, tough angle, I think that was Michoni. Yeah, Michoni by herself in the back post gets gets something on it, but ultimately Dejane just saves it. This one right in the gut of Bori. I think that knocked the wind out of her. <laughs> Back in, Ganthie A. Noah Olivia Ganthie A. The goal scorer is back in the game. Moran also in now for FAU. Llewellyn comes in for Miami. Salas is out. A lot of subs for both teams. I mean, it's so important to, even if you're a starter or you're a sub or a game changer, you come on, you're fit, you're ready to make a difference because it's hot up there. It's so humid, it's hot, legs get heavy. So a lot of subs from both sides of these, both of these sides. Another corner kick for FAU. This one will come off the leg of Morgan McDonald. FAU looking to take the lead here. Yeah, FAU looking a lot more dangerous in the past couple of minutes. They had that great opportunity from that free kick, have a corner. Only takes one chance to get another goal on, um, on the Hurricanes. FAU has their confidence growing. Scored late in the first half. All level at one in Coral Gables. Meeks nowhere to go, trying to find some room. Yeah, and just being able to switch the side on that play, it's so congested on that right side. Being able to connect to your middle, switch it out of the left um, side of the field, and just open up some more space for your team. Molina in the game has her pass swiped. <laughs> Mentioned Molina has a game winning goal against FAU. Molina's 44th game for the University of Miami. Here comes Drew Dempsey in. Simona Dottier will exit the match at the 68th minute. Yeah, and she was a key player for FAU, but really shut down by the Hurricane defense. They did a great job marking her, keeping her in front of them and not getting opportunities on goal. Rose from the right to the left. Doing a good job staying in front of her was Haran. Yeah, we're kind of getting equal energy from both sides, from FAU and the Hurricanes. Which team is going to go a little bit further, give a little bit more to get that goal, to ultimately get the win tonight? Shell steps in. This one goes harmlessly out of play. Diaz with, an, with another throw in for FAU. Daniela Diaz, nope, it's going to go Miami's way.
Shell's been playing on both sides of the field here tonight. I was just going to say that. It seems like Shell has been yeah. everywhere tonight. She was on the right side, now she's on the left side. I'm sure a tactic change up from Coach Sarah Barnes seeing, you know, left side of the field has been a lot less dangerous, wide open. So perfect opportunity for Shell to get in there, uh, make some overlap runs and try to get a cross off. Belton plays it back to Delaney Brown. Brown to Felton, awfully clever with the ball. Felton ushers it left side for Shell. Miami mounting an attack. Shell inside the box. Diaz is there to repel her. Good defense from FAU. They see Taylor Shell has the ball. They send one, two, three defenders to shut her down. But that's the movement I'm talking about from Taylor Shell. She is the left back, but she's so good on the flank, getting up and down, getting in to the attacking third. All she has to do is just get that cross off. Molina got hit in the face from close range. Oof. There's another look. I think maybe right in the chin. Yeah, getting hit in any part of the body from that close is not fun. Well, you know, a local player went to Our Lady Lords High School right down the street. Yeah, Molina's such a good player on and off the ball. She's always working. She's always running. Teammate through and through. Played 58 minutes in the opening game against Stetson. Went 92 minutes during her career against Louisville. Shell. Her felt. Good ball by Felton. She's done such a good job in the middle, controlling the ball, whipping balls out wide. That was a beautiful ball out on to the right side of the field. Cerna will throw it in for Miami. So Wheeler will take it to the corner. Wheeler has a good leg, the red shirt freshman. Played 62 minutes against Stetson the other night. Big chance for Miami here to break this deadlock. A big chance for the Hurricanes, and they have a pretty tall team, so just getting anything on it, head on it, is all, is all that they need. Wheeler off the left foot, comes out to Brown. Gently touches it for Molina. Felton swoops in. Ball squirts out, Brown runs it down, no. It's off of Llewellyn, ricochets off an FAU player, now we got a foot race. And that one is squandered, now FAU with a chance on a 1v1. Dajanay was put in a pickle there for a moment. And that's what we it, have to be careful about, the turnover on the corner. UM puts a lot of numbers in the box, but FAU, they counter, and especially right here, giving the ball away. You have to be so careful when you play the ball back. Make sure you get it to Dajane or X defender because if you don't, you give a turnover and you give FAU such a good opportunity. Dempsey almost found her. So for the one on uh, one v one against Dajane. Johnson hustling for FAU. Plays it back to Braun. Coming up on. 75th minute, so we're getting toward the danger zone. Getting towards the end of the game. It's been a hot one out there, a lot of different elements. So getting and staying locked in is so important for both of these two sides. Wheeler for Miami. Yeah. 
Wheeler was a four-time all-county player in high school. Left foot. Now Brown. Llewellyn. Wheeler. Deflected out of play. Here comes Siddiqui in for FAU. Played very well in the first half. Very active player. And for Miami, Emma Tucker returns. Back in 2021, Tucker played all 90 minutes against FAU. Tonight is her 39th career start. Yeah, and she's such an important, I mentioned this earlier in the first half, but she's such an important key person to this roster for the Hurricanes. She brings experience, she brings composure. She's just a leader through and through for this roster. Seventy-five minutes now of our ninety. Cobb Stadium and Coral Gables on a rainy and a humid night. Sloan Young back in for FAU. The junior from Boca Raton, transferred from South Florida. Wellen across the midline, down the middle. Wellen working against Dempsey. Molina trying to maneuver her way through the defense. And I like seeing Llewellyn, Llewellyn take the space. She sees the space, she takes the opportunity, she drives. And then instead of just playing it to the right side, which is so congested, looking up and trying to see the left side. So that's all they need to do. The Hurricanes, in my opinion, is just shift a little bit from right side dominant to find the open side of the field. I know Taylor Shell just got subbed up, but now Emma Tucker's over there. Find the left side of the field and you can get some chances. Not sure what's going on here. I think it's a free kick for the Hurricanes. Seem to be a lot of pushing and shoving. <laughs> And now, or maybe a, a drop ball. Our referee is trying maybe bring the teams together. Let's see. There's been a couple question marks in this match so far in the first half, with the clock stopping, questionable throw-ins. <laughs> Let's take another look at it. Felton's putting pressure. Oh, ref gets in the way. Now the referee got in the way. Okay. Referee interference. It happens. Refs are humans too. I know some people don't think so, but they are human. <laughs> Meeks turns and wants to go. Mahmoud Poor. Does some really good work tonight. For Molina. Edge of the box, Molina. Tries to get inside the FAU defense. Yeah, and you, you said it. Mahmoud Poor has been exceptional for the Hurricanes. She hasn't been as active in the last couple of minutes, so staying involved. I know it's easy to, you know, zone out of the match, but it's key for the Hurricanes if they want to get this win for Mahmoud Poor to stay locked in and to stay involved. Schleifer comes back in. Schleifer from, from American Heritage, a transfer from Tennessee. Olivia Bori also back in. Felton. Swings it to Wheeler. Back to Felton. Turn on the move. Molina 
Tries to get it to Mahmoud Poor. Llewellyn collects it at the midline. That was a great cross yeah. in from Molina. Just didn't pick out her player. Kind of a little bit of a mix up from post run, but. Had a foul behind the play. Yeah. Good pressure by Bros. I think forced that turnover. 100%. And that's what both teams need. I mean, the Hurricanes are doing it right now, putting pressure, getting those turnovers. FAU had a lot of turnovers in the first half, so making them feel that pressure so they can give the ball up and make those turnovers. Mahmoud Poor with a nice back heel for Bros. And on the sliding tackle for FAU, good defending by Madison Machoni. Sesma played well in the first half. So had some very good minutes. So final uh, 10 minutes or so, Sesma will have a chance to do something. And Simone Dottier is back in as well. So FAU putting you know some high pressure players in the last 10 minutes, which are so important in this match. Simone Dottier has had some time to rest. So fresh legs for the final 10 minutes. Game is level at one. In the last 10 minutes is where your fitness comes in, where you do your fitness packet over the whole summer. And this is exactly where it comes in in the last 10 minutes. When you're mentally and physically fatigued, your fitness is such a key important factor. And Sarah Barnes, I know from personal experience, is so big in fitness. So expect the Hurricanes to still be running out there. Mahmoud Poor trying to get the, trying to wedge her way in. Wheeler is there as well. Now Felton. Cerno lobs it forward for Molina. Molina has an idea here for Mahmoud, Mahmoud Poor. I don't know how that ball stayed in on that right side. I kept thinking it's going out, it's going out, but Molina keeps it in. She beats her player just executing. She had one a couple minutes ago, just executing that cross, riding out her player. Picking that player who's running first uh, front post or back post is going to result in a goal. Just that simple matter, picking out your player. Here comes Shell back in. She's had a productive night. Now a little bit of a rest. Chip Ford got a foot race. Simone Adotier trying to get there. Llewellyn back for Miami. For Tucker. Tucker coming forward. Long strides for Tucker. Being tailgated by Bory. Yeah, and you see Tucker taking space, taking space, dribbling, attacking. But she kind of gets held up because there's one, there was one, two, three FAU defenders and not a lot of movement from the Hurricanes. But she ultimately keeps the ball, does a smart decision, and Unfortunate on that cross right there. Mahmoud Poor, long for Molina. Mahmoud Poor getting more and more confident with each minute. Mm -hmm. She's been, for me, the player of the match. She's been moving the ball around. She's been running around. I feel like we're saying her name every other minute. So she ultimately scored the goal as well. So she's had an exceptional match. And she just needs to finish out these last couple of minutes, maybe get another goal. Tail end of our match now. 83rd minute of 90. Tucker tried to get the left foot. Something behind the left foot, but it ricochets away. Simone Adatier has it. And an opportunity. Around Brown. Four Hurricanes are there. The muzzle Simone Adatier. FAU forced a turnover, but unfortunately, 
Simone Dottier is all by herself, 1v4. If they want to get a goal, they're going to need someone out to help her up there. She's all alone taking on four Hurricanes. That's a really difficult task, especially at the tail end of the match. Schleifer with a free kick for, for FAU. Schleifer comes forward. Into the box and too strong. Ramirez couldn't get on the other end of that one for FAU. Quickly with a goal kick for Miami comes Dajane. She's had a busy night. Dajane has been exceptional. In the first half, she had some great saves. Almost, I mean, basically saved a lot of goals. Second half, got some hands on some goals. So she's had a really, really, really strong match. Tucker for a streaking shell. Who's going to win this matchup? Shell is all tangled up with Diaz. And Diaz has played some really great defense against the Hurricanes on this left side. She's basically shut them down. They've got a couple crosses off, nothing too dangerous, but she's done a really good job. It's a free kick for the Hurricanes, so it was a foul on Diaz. It was a foul on Diaz, so Wheeler has a very uh, dangerous mm -hmm. left leg. Yeah, she's had some great balls in, some great crosses. Really with a chance here. Play the role of a hero. Lobs it in. Still alive. And trickles away. Who's going to find a moment of magic here in the final five minutes? Yeah, another great ball in. Someone, I think, gets on the end of Let's watch the replay right here. Great ball in. Challenges the keeper and tries to get a flick on it. Mahmoud Poor tries to get a flick on it, but ultimately just ricochets out. Braun had that one trickle off her uh, fingertips. Here comes Hoodian for Molina. For the final push over the last five minutes. Mahmoud Poor in pursuit of Smith. Will either team find a winner here? In the final four minutes. A foul on FAU and a great opportunity for the Hurricanes right here. Tail end of the game, five minutes. Really, really great opportunity to get the ball and get a good cross in, get something on it. All right, for the University of Miami, into the 86th minute, what kind of magic can they conjure up? The host, can they find a winning goal here late? Wheeler this time with her right foot, drives it in there. Felton gets a knee on it. Plays it out wide for Cerna. Final a couple of minutes here at Cobb Stadium. Miami and FAU for the 20th time. Miami will have a corner kick here. Three minutes left. Corner kick. Super dangerous. Big moment here. The stakes are piled high. Can we get a winner? Wheeler. Poked away by Braun. Still alive. Simona Dautier got a head on it for, for FAU. Wheeler keeps it in play, then lost her footing. FAU has been good on the response on the corner. Braun has been good getting a hand on it and just getting that second ball to clear it out.
Coming up on the 88th minute. 88 of 90. FAU tied the game at the end of the first half in the 45th minute. It has stayed that way here in the second half. There's a turnover and a chance for Miami. Meeks out a goal against Stetson. Jody Smith tries to clear the pressure for FAU. Yeah. Miami has some space here, Lauren. Miami has some space, and the Hurricanes have been dominating, honestly, in the last 10 minutes. It's been always on this side. Here goes Taylor Shell. Ooh. Oh, Shell into the box. No foul. Wow, ref says no penalty, no, no penalty. foul. Shell is down, but no penalty. I definitely have to see that again. From my point of view, it looked like it could have been a foul. Shell takes her on. Mm, I think the ref had a good call on that one. Machoni was the defender. We're in the 88th minute and Shell is still down. Time running out on both sides now. Yeah, the clock is ticking down. It's winding down. Let's watch that again. Taylor Shell takes on one, two. I don't, think, I don't think uh, Machoni really had that much contact. Yeah, not that much contact in my opinion. Would have been very bold for the ref to call that in the 89th minute. FAU and Miami about ready to play to a tie here. Unless something dramatic happens. And this could be deja vu of last season when these two, two teams uh, matched up. Clock has stopped just short of the 89th minute. Turner with a takeaway. Miami perhaps one last chance. Shell running onto it. Shell on a foot race. Shell gets by her defender. Got a chance here. Shell toward the post. Wheeler can't get there. Wow, great run by Taylor Shell. Down the right flank. Takes on her player, beats her, gets across on, but no one is back post. Tucker tries to thread a pass for Mahmoudpour. Back to Tucker. 90 seconds to go. Or rather, 30 seconds to go. FAU, perhaps, the last chance. Simone Adatier on the right side. She's going to get loose in the box. Let's it fly. Knocked away by Dajanay. Llewellyn is there to clear for Miami. Wow, it is exciting the last minute of the match. Simone Adatier almost gets a goal to put her team ahead. Dajanay with the save. Dajanay, another acrobatic play. And Miami will be able to breathe here, but this game is going to end in a draw. Great drama in the final nine.